We do hear a lot of talk about net zero economies and commitments are frequently made to achieve these lofty goals. But what does it really mean and how are these economies monitored and indeed what role can data and technology play in helping us attain our sustainable targets? Big questions and I'm delighted to say that I'm joined now from Paris by Antoine Sierre who is head of company engagement at BNP Paribas. Antoine, bonjour, comment ça va? Bonjour, ça va très bien. Good morning. Uh, uh, guten Morgen. Uh, guten Morgen. Uh, buongiorno. Excellent. I'm not going to continue with the French because yours is better than mine and I don't want to humiliate myself. But BNB Paribas is committed to financing a net zero economy by 2050. It's a good aspiration, but what does it mean in practice? Yeah. First of all, uh, we believe it's uh, important that we take such commitment because BNP Paribas is the largest bank in Europe. We are uh, 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 playing uh, uh, an absolutely uh, key role, uh, uh, of course, uh, in France, but uh, also uh, in Belgium, uh, in the Netherlands, in Germany, in, uh, in Italy, or, or uh, in, uh, in, in Spain, uh, and in the, in, the, in the Nordics, or in Poland. So uh, we have an important uh, responsibility, and our responsibility is clearly uh, to finance uh, a, a net zero uh, economy. We, we believe it is uh, really uh, important uh, that uh, we, uh, we go there. So our responsibility is not only to take such commitments, uh, it's also to take uh, real life commitments uh, that uh, uh, make it uh, happen. Uh, and this is why uh, we have, uh, uh, of course, uh, we have joined the alliances that are uh, uh, creating guidelines and that are ensuring that uh, all the industry uh, is moving, such as the Net Zero Banking Alliance uh, uh, or uh, the Net Zero uh, uh, Asset Managers or Net Zero Asset Owners uh, initiatives. Uh, but what is important is what you do as an institution within those uh, alliances. And that's why we have, for example, uh, taken the commitment uh, to reduce by uh, 30 percent the carbon footprint of our financing of power utility companies, 10% uh, our carbon footprint uh, of uh, oil and gas uh, upstream, and 25% uh, 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 the carbon footprint attached to our financing in the automotive uh, industry. And uh, those uh, targets are targets on a very short period of, of time because uh, uh, the, the reduction of uh, 30%, 10%, 25% uh, are due to be uh, reached for the period between 2020 and 2025. So it's not something we, we will implement one day. It is something we are already implementing. We have created dedicated teams, dedicated measure, measure instruments, and we are already uh, uh, in integrating uh, those targets and those decisions in our uh, client uh, policies. So uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, uh, it's not anymore a project. Uh, it is something uh, we are doing uh, now. Mm, it's basically it's embedded in the DNA of the business. But let's expand this because clearly data is important. So how would you define the role it plays in these commitments and its position in the industrialization of sustainable finance? Well, data uh, is essential uh, because data is, uh, is part of the essence of a bank. Uh, a bank is, uh, you know, uh, people believe, uh, the, the people who are outside the industry uh, believe that banks are buildings uh, and uh, money. But in fact, a bank is essentially people and computers. Uh, and uh, we take uh, decisions uh, every day based uh, on uh, proper data. We have been uh, uh, working uh, over the last uh, 20, uh, 200 years uh, on uh, improving our financial data. And when the financial data is not accurate, uh, you know what happens. It's a financial crisis and it's absolutely uh, horrible. So uh, we, are, uh, we, we, we believe that the, the importance of the data is the same for climate or biodiversity uh, or even social inclusion for all ESG. Uh, the data is the antidote uh, to greenwashing. 
sometimes people say that the, the financial industry uh, um, uh, is uh, 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 advertising the sustainable finance and this is uh, uh, greenwashing. It's true that if you don't have the proper data, it is greenwashing. Mm. And uh, and uh, uh, only can be uh, presented as uh, green or sustainable uh, something uh, which has a, a, a proven sustainability uh, under uh, very uh, stringent uh, criteria uh, that can be confirmed by data. So if there is no data, if there is no good data. Uh, if there is no good use of the data, uh, there is no sustainable finance. And all the sustainable finance that is created outside good data system is greenwashing. Mm. I mean, given what you're doing, because the, the, the whole strategy that you have, this is built within the life cycle of the business. It's not something which is done for, for the short term. You're looking way ahead when you and I are no longer here. But given sure. the enormity of the task, how can technology assist? What is its role? How can it make things happen? Well, technology, it's, uh, the data is uh, today, the data is mainly uh, collected, uh, shared, used uh, with uh, technology that comes from uh, uh, <laughs> compiling the data, uh, sharing the data, having the data appearing in the decision process at the right moment, uh, <clears throat> and all the uh, intelligence, artificial intelligence, uh, you can build uh, on the data uh, to have uh, your, uh, your decision being helped by the data. So the technology is absolutely central because if you don't you have the data and don't have the technology, uh, it, it does not work. So that's why we are working uh, on our side in our industrial process. We have launched uh, an ESG action plan, which is embedded uh, within the data policy of the company. Uh, our chief data officer, Rim Terawi, uh, dedicates a lot of time in integrating the, the data, uh, the ESG data, within the data transformation programs of the company. Uh, our CEO uh, dedicated to industrial processes, Laurent David, uh, is also working uh, uh, very hard uh, to have this in the, in the processes. And of course, we are working with others because data need standardization, uh, data need uh, 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 common references. So we are working on some initiatives such as the TNFD, uh, Task Force for Nature-Based Financial Disclosures, uh, uh, um, of which we have contributed to the creation, and also to more specifically technologic uh, initiatives, such as uh, uh, OS Climate. Uh, it's a project that was launched uh, uh, by the, the Linux uh, Foundation uh, to, to, to create a, a platform based on uh, artificial uh, intelligence to enable a, a financial uh, investment to meet uh, uh, climate uh, targets. So the, that, this, is, this is an example. And uh, some other uh, uh, important corporates or financial institutions are members with us uh, of uh, OS Climate, but we have been uh, a, a leading player uh, uh, there. Uh, we have taken uh, in the asset management field uh, uh, an initiative uh, uh, joint with uh, uh, Iceberg Data Lab and uh, iCare and Consult uh, to uh, develop uh, uh, tools to enable uh, investors uh, to uh, measure the, the impact uh, of their investment on biodiversity. This is a, a very much uh, technology-led uh, 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 effort. Uh, we have invested uh, in a startup uh, called uh, Nature Metrics, uh, which uh, tracks the DNA, uh, the traces of DNA uh, uh, left by animals uh, in the nature to understand the impact uh, of uh, uh, economy on the biodiversity. Uh, and uh, we have also developed uh, uh, Manaos, 
uh, our uh, BNP Paribas Security Services uh, business uh, has developed uh, uh, Manaos, which is a, a, a leading uh, uh, edge uh, uh, cloud uh, uh, platform. Um, which uh, which works uh, on uh, on ESG uh, uh, data uh, and which uh, allows uh, asset managers and institutional uh, investors uh, to assess uh, the sustainability uh, uh, dimension uh, of uh, their uh, of their uh, investments. Uh, so uh, it's uh, and it's a very practical uh, plug and play uh, system uh, that is dedicated to the to to, to the clients because. One thing which is very important is that the technology is here to help financial institutions uh, to uh, understand uh, their uh, ESG component and to develop it, but it has also uh, uh, to be meant uh, to help clients. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we are providers of, the ser of services and, uh, and the client uh, is, uh, is everything. Okay, a good note on which to end, but Antoine Sire, Head of Company Engagement at BNB Paribas, merci beaucoup, and thanks for joining me here on Cybos TV. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.